Welcome Capricorn to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 17th of July for the Sun or the Ascendant. It's an exciting start to the week with the new moon in your opposite sign. So it's all about relationships, but relationships don't have to be of the romantic variety only. It's how we connect to the people next door. It can be to do with our folks, uh, people in our immediate circle too not just about our love situation. So the new moon gives you an opportunity to re-energize your approach to this area. I always feel that one of the things that's so notable about modern life is there's a lot of desire for people to express their opinions, but this particular new moon is really giving you an opportunity to sharpen up your listening skills over the next month. You're on a and Neptune are feeding into this event in a very positive way. So your sensitivity through Neptune, but also the fun side of your nature. I feel that Capricorns can be a great laugh. Yes, when you're younger, uh, can be quite serious and maybe quite shy. But as you've got older, you become uh, much more self-confident. And this is an opportunity to connect to people and dazzle them with all the different parts of your personality. But there's no doubt that this is a complex week. The North Node uh, ingresses into the sign of Aries on Monday too. So for the next year and a half, your emotional world could go through some quite significant changes. There may be something you have to deal with almost straight away. Maybe it's to do with where you live, to be honest with the 4th house of the north and the 10th house of the south, both linking back to Pluto in your sign through to the end of August, there may be a little bit of a dilemma. It's not a dilemma you can't get through. It's more like almost the crossroads. You may have some choices to make, and it may be around how you live somewhere, who you live with. Could be a property matter that requires some care but most of all, some patience, because with Saturn, your ruler, in an opposition with Mars this week, if you do feel frustrated that someone isn't listening to you as much as you feel they should do, that could see you feeling very pent up and exasperated. And of course, by the end of this week, we do have the sun in Cancer goes into a direct opposition with Pluto in your sign, but they are uh, crossed by the axis of the nodal uh, north of Aries and south of Libra. So that creates a, a, a grand cardinal cross. And therefore, this is a week which could see some stubbornness creep in. <clears throat> Pardon me. Not everybody is necessarily going to attune to you as much as you're uh, able and willing to attune to them. And of course, Venus, the planet of relating, is in a very deep and passionate part of your situation, it actually forges a beautiful angle with the node, the north node. So if there is someone you're really connected to, that feeling can just be amplified in a very profound way. But then Venus goes into retrograde for the following uh, 44 days. Venus can be about relating, but it can be about money. And the eighth house is also about longer term finance, can be to do with legacies, insurances, um, and anything to do with uh, investment and so forth. So Venus obviously is a very charming influence. And you may have to just be aware that some situations may require your uh, notable patience. You know, you're someone who can keep chipping away until you get to the goals that are important to you. I think that's going to be important, but if you are in a romantic relationship which you feel lacks fun or vitality, Jupiter's square with Mercury in your eighth house, or Uranus is square with Mercury later this week, lacks vitality or sparkle, or the other person doesn't really turn you on, that new moon could be a rethink about an involvement you're in, or a business relationship you're in, and Venus going into retrograde can just see the thinking and the thought process that's threaded through it be very profound indeed. I'd just like to share with you my very special opportunity. 
If you ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and order your year 2024 personal forecast now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of year 2023 completely free of charge. And in my special package of 30% off, and these charts are very good value, please do check out the cost of them. You will get your character analysis, your life roadmap report, which can help you to understand the patterns that are played out in your situation throughout your time in this life and get a much sharper appreciation of how you can work with your qualities and also uh, negotiate the challenges that we inevitably all have. Please see underneath this video for more.